Hello there, and welcome to the third instalment in my Caribbean island hopping vlog series. Today I'll be back in Barbados, scuba diving and more. As much as I love scuba diving, I am absolutely petrified of snorkeling, so that's why I'm wearing a floaty. So before my dive, I went snorkeling. I saw a turtle, I thought, okay cool, I've seen loads of turtles before. And then this turtle just came so close to me, I was like, nah, this turtle was actually chasing me. So I tried to outswim it, obviously can't outswim a turtle, just got so scared. And then, yeah, I think I scared the turtle off. But yeah, it's an example of an irrational fear because I'm absolutely fine if I see them when I'm diving. One thing I loved about Barbados was how clear the water was. The visibility when you're diving is absolutely amazing. And there's so much cool stuff down there. Shipwrecks, sea life, it's brilliant. Yellow. <laughs> it's actually crazy how clear this water was. Pretty much like just seeing stuff in real life. And that is a sunken anchor, I believe. One of my top three things to see when I'm scuba diving are shipwrecks, I absolutely love them. It reminds me of something in a film or something like that. And later on in this vlog, I'll show you inside some of these sunken ships. When you see me holding my nose I'm literally just equalizing and that's just to relieve the pressure that builds up in your head and your ears when you're scuba diving and the deeper down you go the more you'll need to equalize. Now time to explore a shipwreck. Shipwrecks serve as a safe haven for a lot of marine life so although they're an unnatural part of the ecosystem they also provide a habitat for a lot of fish. I don't know what it is, but swimming for a shipwreck, I just feel like I'm in a film. <laughs> Unfortunately, my hands are still a bit shaky when I'm filming in a boat, so I cut a lot of that footage out. <laughs> This ship was huge, so we got to have a nice little sneak peek inside it. So I had a little look at the front of the ship first. dive one complete which took about 45 minutes and after that went back to shore had a little break and then set back out into the ocean 
So right now I'm descending down and to do that you just literally let out the air of your BCD which is kind of like the life jacket floating device that you wear and because you are in a weight belt you just sink to the bottom. So goodbye sunshine and you can see all the little sun rays beaming through the water which is pretty cool. And yet another beautiful shipwreck. So while I was in Barbados, the instructor told me all the history about all of these ships. And I really should have written it down because I have the history, but I don't know which ship is which. So I can't really provide you with that information. Bit of equalising again because I felt some pressure in my ears. Don't know what that is, but from far it reminded me of a treasure chest. See, it's crazy. If I see a turtle when I'm underwater, I'm absolutely fine. I see a stingray, absolutely fine. But when I'm snorkeling, I get so scared. You guessed it, another shipwreck. Honestly, if anyone knows like any tips on how to hold a camera steady underwater, please let me know because I'm literally fighting for my life to hold this thing still. Next, I went to have a look at some coral reefs. This plant is pretty cool, you go near it and it just closes up and you can actually hear me laughing. I didn't actually touch it because I know you're not supposed to touch coral, but I went kind of close to it. I think I have sensitive ears because I have to equalise more than like any person I know. Coral isn't my favourite thing to look at. I do like the bits that are kind of unusual looking, that's pretty cool. And just seeing the fish swimming around it, but in general, like I wouldn't like specifically go scuba diving just to see a coral reef. But I would make exceptions. Obviously if I went somewhere like Australia, then yeah, I'd have to go see that. Oh yeah, this guy bought his phone in like, you know, a normal waterproof phone case and it was absolutely fine, but I would never do that with my phone, but I'm surprised it works. When I don't see anything particularly interesting, I just fill my face. I really want to get like a nice selfie underwater and I still haven't got one. This just reminded me of Spongebob. This is the underwater gesture for cool. Someone told me when you're scuba diving you're supposed to keep your head like directly down, so I tried it. Then I thought, what if I headbutt a shark? We used to do this a lot when I was in school, but underwater it means that you see a trigger fish, and if you see a trigger fish, run away because they bite. Back on the surface and swimming back to the boat. Where's my regulator? So when I got back on the boat, the guy saw some stingrays and I couldn't bother to go back down, so I threw in my camera and they filmed them for me. Fun fact, stingrays are pretty dangerous if they sting you, but all the ones I've encountered, they seem, I won't say harmless, but they leave you alone if you leave them alone. But this guy's a bit nuts because he tried to touch it.
that could never be me. They look so graceful the way they swim, just flapping their little bodies and just floating and gliding through the water. And that was my diving done for the day, so I headed to Blakey's for another fabulous meal. Thank you so much for watching this vlog don't forget to subscribe to my channel i've got another barbados vlog coming out and then after that i'll be in saint vincent and the grenadines mm -hmm.